Live from Deplorable Headquarters, it's The Grill. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe on the bottom right at any time. While millennials still find their way in the world, hopefully not out of their parents' basement, there's a new hope in this American life of ours, Generation Z. Let's grill it up. So who is Generation Z? They're anyone born after 1995. People often lament how they're always on their phone, but let's wait a second here and look at their politics. From Forbes magazine, uh, a UK study at the Guild did a survey of almost 2,000 adults and found that on issues like marijuana legalization, transgender issues, and even tattoos, 59% of Gen Z respondents described their views as conservative or moderate. Now that's a pretty radical change from the 83% of millennials and 85% of Gen X who state that their views are quite or very liberal on the same issues. Now, for these kids who didn't grow up in a world before 9-11, it could be that the culture of fear has touched everything they know. Is that now showing its up itself, given that they're adults? I'll talk with someone of that very generation. Hey, Ryan, you're going to school right now. You're Gen Z. Uh, you know, my degree was in geography. I'm a millennial. What are you studying? Something like that? Oh, actually nothing. Uh, college is overrated. My older brother has $75,000 in college debt, so I've just decided to learn from YouTube. Okay, uh, really? Um, well, do you like working in groups? I'm trying to understand how it is that your, your brain works. Do you like working in groups? What's that, groups? No, no, I don't, I don't like working in groups. I like work, working by myself, actually. By yourself? Okay. Um, just hmm. trust myself more. You trust yourself more, but you know, surely you have to identify with a particular group, right? Your race, your gender, if you've chosen it already. No, not really. I'm too busy thinking about, not th thinking about useless things like that. I'm too busy building my eBay and Shopify business. Well, it, it's something that you're doing is okay. Uh, so you're not going to college. You're building a business online. You don't care about race, gender, or identity stuff mm -hmm. well uh, what do you care about yourself mm, that and a few friends it's nice to see that Gen Z is more individualistic than Millennials perhaps that will lead them to be less likely to give in to the destructive social identity politics of the left so the next time you hear about say Twitch or Instagram or Snapchat, let's remember the future may not be as dim as we think it is.